Good morning, everyone. Christmas is in the air, my friends. Hana, Vridhim, and I will be spreading some Christmas cheer. Christmas is celebrated to remember the birth of Jesus Christ, who Christians believe is the Son of God. So here we go with the Christmas story. Long, long ago, more than two thousand years ago, when King Herod ruled Judea. Now, a part of Israel, God sent Angel Gabriel to Nazareth with a message for Mary, who was promised in ma- marriage to Joseph. The angel appeared to Mary and told her that she would have a son, whom she was to name Jesus. The angel said, "He will be great and will be called the Son of God." Mary was very afraid, but she trusted God. Let it happen as God chooses, she replied to the angel. Joseph was worried when he found out that Mary was expecting a baby. Then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, "Don't be afraid to have Mary as your wife." The angel explained that Mary had been chosen. by god to uh, be the mother of his son and told joseph that the baby would be named jesus which Jesus-y. means savior because he would save people when joseph woke up he did what angel had told him to do and took mary as his wife birth of jesus christ mary and joseph had to travel a long distance from nazareth to bethlehem because of an order from the roman emperor augustus that a record of all people had to be kept in their hometown after traveling on a donkey for several days mary and joseph arrived at bethlehem and were told that there were no places to stay the inns were full seeing that mary was due at any moment an owner of an inn told joseph that they could stay in his stable so there in the place where the animals slept mary gave birth to jesus the son of god in a manger which is the trough from where animals ate their hay Mary wrapped baby Jesus in long soft cloth called swaddling clothes. During this time an angel appeared to shepherds who were watching their flock. In the field near Bethlehem the angels told them the good news how the birth of their savior Jesus Christ they told the shepherds that they would find him in, in a manger. The shepherds immediately went to find baby Jesus. They bowed before baby Jesus, praising God for sending his son to be their savior. When Jesus was born, a brand new bright star appeared in the sky. Some wise men in far away countries saw the star and knew that a great king was born. so they set out to find the new king and bring him gifts the wise men followed the star through uh, towards the country of judea and when they got to the capital called jerusalem they began to ask people where is the child who is born to be the king of the jews herod the king of judea heard this and it made him very angry to think that someone might be going to take his place as king herod sent for the wise men and told them to go on following the star until they had found the baby king he said when you have found him let me know where he is so that i could go and worship him but herod did not tell them that he really had an evil plan in his mind to kill the new king the wise men continued to follow the star towards 
it seemed to stop and shine directly down upon the place where Jesus was. The wise men offer gifts to baby Jesus. The wise men offered their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh to baby Jesus. They were warned in a dream not to go back to Herod. So they returned home to their countries in the east by a different way. Herod got very angry when the wise men did not return. He ordered that all newborn babies in Judea should be killed. An angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, the angel said. Take Jesus and Mary and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for Jesus to kill him. So Joseph got up, took Jesus and Mary during the night, and they left for Egypt, where they st stayed until Herod died. And that's the story of Christmas. So why is Christmas celebrated on December 25th? Actually, no one knows when exactly Jesus was born to the festival of Saturnalia. Uh, celebrated on the 21st or 22nd of December by the pagans of Rome in the honor of God Saturn. It marks the day of the winter solstice in the star of the Northern Hemisphere. The pagans just meant that the Days would start getting warmer and longer and the nights would become shorter. Marking a change in the seasons, people used to come together and exchange gifts, feasts and decorate trees. It was also during the time of the Roman Empire Constantine when Christmas happened to be celebrated on the 25th of December. Many believe that Emperor Co Constantine did so because he was the first Christian Roman emperor and since celebrations already took place in the name of Saturnalia, he probably thought of blending Christian and pagan traditions. A few years later in 350 AD, Pope Julius officially declared that the birth of Jesus Christ would be celebrated on the 25th of December and that marked Christmas. Carols were first sung in Europe thousands of years ago, but these were not Christmas carols. They were pagan songs such as uh, at the winter solstice celebration as people dance around stone circles. The word carol actually means a dance or song of uh, praise and joy. Carols used to be written and sung during all four seasons, but only one tradition of singing them at Christmas has really survived. New carols were created and became popular, as did the custom of singing carols in the streets. The Legend of Santa Claus How is Santa Claus connected to Christmas? The legend of Santa Claus can be traced back hundreds of years to a monk named Saint Nicholas. It is believed that Nicholas was born sometime around 280 AD in Patara, the modern day Turkey. Much admired for his piety and kindness, it is said that he gave away all of his inherited wealth and traveled the countryside helping the poor and sick. Over the course of many years, Nicholas's popularity spread and he became known as the protector of children and sailors. These days, Santa Claus is an old jolly guy in a red outfit who lives in Lapland near the North Pole. Little children write letters to him asking for their favorite gifts he rides a reindeer sleigh, delivering gifts into stockings kept under the Christmas tree or near the chimney. People like to decorate to the outside of their houses with light and sometimes even statues of Santa Claus, snowmen and reindeer. Some cookies in a glass of milk 
are often often left out as a snack for Santa and ca- Santa and carrots are left for the reindeers on Christmas Eve. Towns and cities often often decorate the streets with lights to celebrate Christmas. They also decorate Christmas trees with ornaments and lights. In Poland, people decorate Christmas trees with spider webs because according to ancient legends, it was a spider that wore a blanket for baby Jesus. In fact, Polish people consider spiders to be a symbol of goodness. In many homes, people also make gingerbread houses. Many homes decorate the Christmas tree as the evergreen fir tree has been traditionally used to celebrate winter festivals for thousands of years. Pagans use branches of it to decorate their homes during the winter solstice as it reminded them of the coming of spring. Christians use it as a sign of everlasting life with God. Hanging the white mistletoe in houses goes back to the times of the ancient Druids. It is supposed to possess mystical powers which bring good luck to the household and wards off evil spirits. It was also used as a sign of love and friendship in Norse mythology. White is often associated with purity and peace in Western cultures. The snow of winter is also very white. The red holy is said to represent the blood of Jesus when he died on the cross. Saint Nicholas also wore red colored robes which eventually became Santa's uniform. Gold is the color of the sun and light, both very important in the cold, dark winter. Gold was also one of the gifts bought for baby Jesus by one of the wise men. Traditionally, it's the color used to show the star that wise men had followed. Celebrating Christmas in India In the days preceding Christmas, houses are clean. Many yummy sweets like the rum plum cake, coconut cake, rich fruit cake, kulkuls, nioris, marzipans, chocolate fudge and Christmas puddings are made. A star is lit outside each house. On Christmas Eve, the whole family dressed in festive attire walk to church to attend midnight mass. After the service, the church bells ring to announce that Christmas Day has arrived. Everyone greets each other. A very Merry Christmas. Once back home, families drink wine and eat Christmas cake. They open their gifts left by Santa. There is much merriment and joy. Christmas lunch is a grand spread of delicious traditional preparations. Christmas is uh, now celebrated by people around the world, whether they are Christians or not. It's time when a family and friends come together and give thanks for the good things they have. People and especially children also like Christmas as it's a time when they receive presents. With that, we come to the end of this presentation. We wish you a Merry Merry Christmas. We wish wish you a Merry Christmas. We We wish wish you a Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas. And And a Happy happy New Year. Year.